so to prevent us from being squished by all these bricks a few planks of wood in between the breaking bricks <laughs> yeah. Look, just this little bit here is keeping this whole wall going Good morning. Good morning. And from welcome from Chachapoyas. Chachapoyas. This morning we got up super early. It's like, well, we got up at six, maybe earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nearly seven now, and we're on our way to Quillap. Yeah, really place. looking forward to it. Yeah, so this is Quillap. Like is known as north. Machu Picchu of the North. Yes. So it's supposed to be pretty impressive. It goes quite under the radar for most. Uh, backpackers and tourists because yeah, it's not, a little bit out of the way yeah, and not a lot of people actually go or not we didn't know about it until mm -hmm. we started researching and it's Peru much cheaper than Machu Picchu so much cheaper much quieter mm -hmm. and it's older as well yes. so we're gonna we're walking through town we're gonna get a bus to the town nearby and we get a cable car up to the top and then we hike about a kilometre to the entrance I think kilometre? I think so mm -hmm. so yeah we're just gonna go get the bus now we'll let you know how it goes so we've got to the uh, well it's like a bus terminal it's just like mini buses uh if you can see but the big buses all have their own terminals but these mini buses for tours the main bus terminal we walk to and they sh immediately shouted for quell up and we asked how much and they said 10. so we're on the bus i think we've got to wait for it to fill up so I don't know how long we're going to be here. It's a shame. It's a shame. But 10's good. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 10 is not bad. So this bus should take us to the cable car. Fingers crossed it all goes the way we plan. Get the cable car, which should be about 20 solos each. And then the entry to quill out. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, Kasha. No, she's not excited. After about a 50 minute bus ride, crazy bus ride. our crazy bus ride, a little, it was so bendy, we felt so sick and I was on the t uh, travel motion tablet and I still felt really ill, you didn't, you felt ill and the little boy was being was vomiting. Yeah, I started feeling really sick and then, uh, but we've only got one travel sickness tablet left. Which done saved it for me because Cash I needs it on the way back. Even with the tablet I felt sick. Yeah, that was rough, but yeah, only 15 minutes, not that long. Yeah, so if Hour. you do come here on the bus, on the mini bus, get some tablets. Yeah, so we've arrived here, the Telecabinas Quillap. So we're going to get the cable car up in a sec. Yeah, once we start to feel a bit normal again, because yeah, we both feel rough. We've just got our tickets. Yeah, we paid. 23 50, I think. 23.50 each. I don't know if it says like the time we got a return. That's what she said, yeah. 12.24. Yes. I don't want to come earlier if we want. We surely can. Um, so she just needs our passports, we need to show our vaccine, certificates coming in, and now we just got to wait. She yeah. just four I minutes. I can't see where it's coming. <laughs> I don't know where it is either. Shall we look? came to the cable car site, bought tickets, and now we're getting on a bus. Yeah. So we're not quite sure what's going on. Buenas. Gracias. So the bus is taking us to the cable car start point, but we can't see where it is at all. Yeah. I'm not surprised we didn't see it. <laughs> so we made it. Five minute bus journey, and we're here. Right. You're number four. Yes, 
Texas. Buenos días. Vamos. Manuel Amarillo hacia la derecha, muchas gracias. Gracias. So that was uh, 10 minutes, you reckon? Ah, oh, 15 minutes. It'd be 15 minute cable car ride, so quite a lengthy cable car ride. What? Here's it, so. Quell up. Today, Fertius? Yeah, so we've got to put our. Name, surname. Names, age. Oh my god. And where we're from. When was the last tourist? So, foreign tourists said one, two, three, four, five yesterday. Oh, okay. Uh, I am 21, that is ah. 150. Hey. And what's the procedure? Uh. So, next, we have to buy tickets. Inglaterra. Muchas gracias. So an extra 30 each. So that takes the whole price to 30 and 23.50. 53 50 each each plus 20 each for the bus return minibus yeah so 70 over 70 each yeah 73 50 good each so that's to come oh here. 14 quid 14 quid yeah. you get a cool cable ride so after checking in getting the tickets down there we're now walking up this path up here to get to uh, quell up oh it's beautiful for sure. Um, I read somewhere that it's about a kilometre walk, but we will see. All up a hill. Saddle Panhana. It's good to go. Whew. And it's quite high. It's 3,000 metres up. Yeah. This fortified city. So it's fairly high. They got stop points, quite a few of these. I think they've got about six or seven on the way. Just in case you're struggling. Six you or can, seven? Or maybe five, I don't know. Oh, looking at the map, it looked like there was quite a few of these huts on the way. Ages away, then. Just stopping to take in the view. It's amazing. So that's where the cable car ends and we get out. You obviously, you can see the cable car going across over the hill down there. <laughs> so it's still a okay K to go. Yeah. That's a bit cheaper. Okay. That's only because I told you it was 1k. Yeah. That's what I read. So more than 1k walk from the end of the cable car. It's quite a pleasant walk. It's nice, the weather's nice, it's not too hot and not too cold. Yeah. Uh just the altitude maybe can get you a little bit out of breath, but yeah, generally it's nice, quiet peaceful getting near the entrance yeah so as Kasia said it's more built up than she thought it was going to be just looking from this part and you said it's older than Machu Picchu older, older than Machu Picchu yeah. yeah I wonder why Machu Picchu is so famous maybe because of the view yeah oh, the, everything the view and it's just like it's just amazing looking at it 
So we're walking next to that wall at some point. It's actually 20 meters high. Yeah, it's up to 20 meters high. This wall. God, that's a... Especially, I think, down at access one. Mm -hmm. I think that's where it's... Yeah, the entrance is high. Uh, we'll but we're going to go to access three. Cause it gave us a like, kind of like a little route of where to go. And it looks like going in, in through access three and round would be the best way. But you could stand next to it and you can see how high it is. Yes. Like considering how old this is, this is built very well and is definitely much bigger. I don't remember Machu Picchu being that high, like anything high like this. Oh, like walls and stuff. Yeah. Uh, the location of Machu Picchu itself was its defence, whereas this maybe needed a wall defence. You know what I mean? Oh, maybe yes. Yeah. Oh, little picnic area. Oh wow! And we've got no snacks. We ate our snacks. Yes. Already. We're going to try to have a cheap day today. God, look at it. It looks quite big. It looks quite long. Do you know how long it is? Uh, so yeah, it's 584 meters long. And then in its widest part, it's 110 meters wide. God, looking forward to see the widest part. Yeah, so it's quite long, quite wide. Mm -hmm. So behind us and in front of us, there are quite a few places to eat. Yeah. Yeah. So. Doggy. No. So yeah, you've got a few food stalls up here, so you can eat, and they've got like drinks and snacks as well. So don't worry if you haven't bought snacks for your journey. You can get them up here. Hello. Hey. Hey. How are you? Hey. Come here. Come here. So many cute doggies. Should I go inside and say hello? Hello. Who's that good doggy? Hey. Hello. Hello. Come here. Come here. Hey, look. Hey. Hello. So cute. Okay, so we've been walking around the outside and now we've come to an entrance. This is access number three. The one access number one was actually closed due to there doing some works on access one just to the entrance part. So you can't enter into that part if you wanted to. Oh god. Struggling for breath. So we're at access three. There's someone waiting here, so I'm not sure what we need to do here. So this is the entrance into the fortified city of Quillap. Now let's go up into the city. In this city there was only three entrances to the city and they're all very narrow. Like this one. Entrance one, access one was only enough for one person to fit through. It just made it very easy to defend when you got three entrances that narrow and such high walls. But they didn't completely defend it because the Incas came and conquered this place and tried to wipe out all the Chachapoyas. Civilization. Civilization, yeah. But um, so it was the Chachapoyas culture who built this place. Chachapoyas people known as cloud warriors. Because these cities are in the clouds, the cloud forests. And we're so high. And we're so high. They must have been super high. Yeah. How many buildings were here? How many buildings? Yeah. Uh, they say there was 550 structures on this site. And all Chachapoyas? No. No, no, no. So all the circular ones were the Chachapoyas. They built them in circular houses and things. Um, you can see like the circular houses, the ruins of circular houses, 550 overall structures and I th oh, yeah, here. Look this, this circular one, circular. where, yeah, so they all built them in circular structures, the Chachapoyas, 
like this for houses and other things. But uh, and the walls weren't quite high as you can see from there. Yeah. And obviously they would have had wooden. Yeah. Roof. Wooden roofs. Um, and there are five non-circular ones which were built by the Incas. Ooh, yeah. When the Incas invaded, they stayed here for a while. They added a few more and they were the rectangular ones. Do you think? So we're at number two now. Look how many circular structures there were. So many, Say. like so close. Say 550. Do you know how many people you always talk about? Uh, 3,000 3, people inhabited this city. And that's not a lot compared considering how many of the houses there is. Right. Yeah, not all houses, I guess. They're all like, they could be Baby. all sorts. Mm. They definitely didn't have much of a garden space. <laughs> and yeah, that's a rectangular. Do you reckon this is one of the rectangular ones? Yeah, it's rectangular, yeah. but whether it was a a building. So this is the outer part of the city and then there's another big wall to go to the inner part yeah. through here. But if you were to walk past and you wouldn't know what it is and you would look at this part, it's probably the most destroyed. Very destroyed. Yeah, you wouldn't have a clue, yeah? So many, so like trees growing through the middle of it now. They're not present, pre uh, preserved. Preserved. So there is more wall. Yeah. More so all these limestone bricks, that's what it's built with. Some of them like three tons, more than three tons. So do you think all the like poorer people what lived out here? Yeah. yeah. That would make sense. And then go up here to the inner part. Oh, that's very narrow. Yeah. Doesn't look very safe. <laughs> no, doesn't look too stable, does it? No. All right, let's get up here and have a look. Oh. Okay. Go. Sliding. Cable car. Oh no, we did see it and we were like, was it? Oh, surely not. Were we? I'm not sure we did. I don't remember now. So but yeah, it's a good point, view point, because you can see so much on this yeah. side. This was actually a lookout tower. So this is right at the far corner. One end, a lookout tower. And they found um, around 2,500 little rocks, which were used for like slingshots inside. Mm. Shame you can't go in and have a look. Yeah, it says, it says not to enter. Do not there enter. There must be a way to enter, but obviously we won't do it. No, it's a shame. Mm. It would be cool to have a look out there. Peligro. Why? Looks perfectly safe. It is. So peaceful as well. <laughs> Very peaceful. Cool. Huh? Rectangular. Oh, a rectangular building. So this is one of the Incas' yeah. structures. And, and they did it on the edge. Maybe that's the space Living life on the edge, yeah. like me. So this is one of the non-circular buildings. You which can see the structure is a little bit better than the other buildings, like newer. Yeah, and this was an Inca-built yes. structure. And this one was the Church Boyas um, people. So you can tell a massive difference here. But I wonder what this was, why there's a rope around this rubble. Another thing you'll notice as we go around is we're the only ones. Yeah. Like hardly anyone here. Again. And I love it when it's like this. We have it to ourselves. Look how narrow the entry to this house is. What's 
that? Oh, yeah. Look how well preserved this wall is. Yeah. But yeah, impressive. So here, you can see how some of the stone work and they do it on the outside of the building by these diagonal lines. And you can see here they built something on top, and I've I read that once the person who lived in the house died, they just built over the top of it, they like covered it. You know, kind of like the Moche people did. Yes, yeah. They just built over the top. Uh, they did the same with the houses here. They just built on the top of them. Wow. Like yeah. See the holes where the support beams would have gone, where they'd been upstairs, and the windows. And that's a little bit like a Machu Picchu style, yeah. And the fire, where the fire would have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of, kind of is. Just circular, so many circular buildings. Interesting because they all have like a little fence inside. Do you think that was like some sort of shelf or seat? In there? Yeah. I don't know, I f that one looked like you could go round the back, this one. Mm. I don't know if that's a steps into another room there. Oh, maybe. But they all had and this fire pit. And? Oh, the design yeah. on the rock. Yeah, so cool. Really cool. But they all had this, this fire pit sort of thing and this, this little platform with rocks on and I'm not sure what that is. Mm. Any guesses? See if anyone knows. Not sure. Do you reckon they cook stuff on it? Oh, maybe. Or maybe this is someone's where people worked. Interesting fact that this was the first size of structures came from 500 AD. But the main structures which you see, all these circular buildings, the big walls, was around 900 AD to 1100 AD, which is still. 500 years before Machu Picchu and a crazy fact like you can see they built one house on top of another one so the second one always gonna be smaller than the first one yeah yeah so how it's like here growing bigger they always go smaller this lovely is so design amazing yeah how they did it incredible yeah, it looks yeah impressive oh. tripping everywhere here yeah. it's the only problem if you can see what we're looking on. Sometimes they're not yellow bits, sometimes it's just ride your luck and see how you do. Yeah, and if you want to look at the houses, it's not, it can be even more difficult. Yeah. So this place was eventually abandoned in 1570 after the Spanish conquest. They invaded, this place was abandoned, the Incas left, and it was left into ruin ever since. And it, and it was discovered in the 1800s. Now this is cool. Yeah. Now you look at all these circular buildings. 550 over on the site, so it's a huge site. But only 3,000 people. 3,000 inhabitants, yeah. yeah. But I don't think they're all houses. I think there were places of work and other things. This is Templo Mayor. Well, they think this was mainly used for religious purposes. Other people said it could have been like a solar observatory, a water tank, or even a jail. Oh, yeah, any of those. Yeah, but it says there's a face carved on the outside on one of these rocks. We do, we're going on the back. We're doing a look now. We might see it. That's not it, is it? No, that's not a face. You can see the face carved. Do you think? Yeah. Oh well. Can you see the bones? Where? Oh yeah. Some bones just here. More bones? No, the ones you pointed out. Yeah. And here's just an observatory. Observatory? A viewpoint, should I say? Yeah, they had amazing views. Yeah, they did. 
exactly. Oh, this is quite cool. We're allowed in one of the structures here. The, the entrance. It's more of an oval, this one, not completely circular. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's the path we came in on. Oh, God, we're fast. Operation Find the Face on the Temple. Kasha thinks it's around this side. That can't be it, surely that's not it. No face. It's amazing the sheer amount of these. All with these fire pits in. Or that was by assuming they're fire pits. <laughs> All of them have got toilets slap bang in the middle. Huh? Maybe. So this is one of the three entrances to the city. You see it gets very narrow as you come in. So obviously because of COVID they did a one way system. The Chachapoyas. No, this is a one way system because of COVID. No. <laughs> and we're out. We're out. What, this side? Ooh. Oh, yeah, how high the walls go. to prevent us from being squished by all these bricks a few planks of wood in between the breaking bricks yeah, yeah. Look. just this little bit here is keeping this whole wall going and we're back to the path where we started there's the view from the top completed the tour how long did that take? Hour and a half? Yeah. Hour and a half maybe. And now we're heading back to the cable car. So we've got a time for when we've got to get the bus, so we've got to make sure we get that bus. Yeah, so it's quite nice to have the place to ourselves. Very nice to have the whole place to ourselves. That whole fortified city, a few security guards. And um, that's what we are. So we went to get the Collectivo around about seven, eight o'clock. And if you get it then, you should be fairly alone. So, you can see behind me a group of what, 30 people? No. 20, 30 people. 20? 15. No, there's almost 20 people there. Along, and quite a few ahead of it. So, getting busier. So you can get mini buses up here. If you're on like proper tours, I think the minibus brings you all the way up here. It's a much longer drive though, plus going on the cable car is pretty cool. And you cut across it rather than going all the way around and then driving up here. So this is a Covid safety measures in Peru. You have to just press the bottom on the floor and wash your hands and you go to roll. Let's keep going. And now we're heading down. Oh my god, I'm fast. <laughs> I'm so fast. Oh my god, this is freaky. Crazy how fast it went. Yeah. Okay, so we're on the cable car down now. To uh, this is the end? Uh, this is, yes, yeah, so we've finished. Um, as you say, the cable car is closed on Mondays, so I'd suggest not doing it on a Monday. Otherwise, you can take a tour bus, like you say, there's tour buses up there. 
it's a much longer drive yeah. and, and it's you don't not get, as fun it's not as fun as going on yeah. the cable car as well so uh, we suggest doing it on any day but a Monday uh, it wasn't busy it started to get busy as we came down but we like to do things early we like to do things early to beat the crowds uh, and I think it was really cool actually really cool if I, I say if you're going to compare it to Machu Picchu it would be a lot cheaper and I reckon this place could be could become very popular so you know you got Chachapoyas 50 minute drive away which has an airport uh, which is a nice town and it's just uh, a minibus and a cable car and you're at the site it's very yeah. accessible so they've spent it's on the as I say UNESCO World Heritage Site list candidates a candidate on the World Heritage Site so if that become if it does become a World Heritage Site you'll get more funding and you can see just by the cable car they built a few years ago they've invested a lot of money in this so I think it's a real up and coming place and it will become quite a popular tourist attraction I guess because of COVID and everything it is quite quiet but still actually I think I was surprised how busy it was on the end when we were coming back down it was more people I didn't expect that many people comparing to like Carval or um, was it Chincha Chan 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 yeah. El Broja they're all pretty much empty they're, yeah um, so this is quite busy actually compared to those it's quite busy this is going to be more a people street in terms of archaeological sites because there's still lots of walls and it's all built up and yeah it's quite cool and they're, they're doing more work on it so it's going to be a very popular one you can see it up there now oh yes yes you can see it yeah so cool it's so cool so overall we think yeah it's definitely yeah, a it's worth really, a visit yeah and it's a short day actually because it's 12 o'clock now and uh, we left what about seven so um, seven we could it you know the bus didn't leave till eight gone eight yeah so potentially you could like get the bus at eight and i say we're finished by 12. yeah it's 12 o'clock now so our bus here is leaving at 12 24 but you wouldn't have much time if you would only eat in the restaurant exactly or doing with a tour group a lot there's tour guides here a lot of them are doing tours so yeah I'm sure you could just get on it like the and next bus. And I thought bus. we did it quite quickly because we yeah. were pressed for time. Yeah. But yeah, but I'm, like I'm you said, sure you just get on yeah, the next I bus. I think so. So yeah, we really enjoyed it. Really liked it. Um, definitely recommend it as a place to come. As you say, it is a very up and coming tourist destination which not many people know about, and it's really cool. You know, it's a good place to stop if you're in Peru. Definitely. Well, yeah, we quite like the town. Yeah. Very much. Yeah. We'll show you more of the town in yeah. the one of the later vlogs yes. but um yeah so we're just gonna head all the way down there now oh god ah. <laughs> oh god uh so yeah this is the end of the quella vlog well, yeah so we won't show you our journey back there's no point it's just yeah. just the cable car and the bus and then we're gonna go have some food and we're quite tired so do that would be it day. for yeah because we didn't sleep very well somehow in our hostels in our hostel everyone wakes up like and goes somewhere at two o'clock in the morning it's crazy but one more quick thing which i didn't mention there's not a lot written in english uh, there's like two three boards maybe yeah. with like a small paragraphs in english other than that there's nothing to read um there are tour guides there we don't know if there's an english one we didn't really see any English tour guides. No. But they they have tour guides. There were people doing tours, so we didn't see that option when we arrived. <laughs> Maybe this yeah, was early. When we were walking by. Oh, some woman I think Ask offered us. us. Ask yeah. us. But at the moment, we think tours are just in Spanish. Yeah. By the looks of it, and there's not much writing in English. So uh, that might change in the future. Um, to have more you know, English guides or English boards or information in English. Yes. So we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see yeah. you on the next one. Bye.